Commander. Welcome to Mech Shah, outlaw crossroads of the galaxy. Darth Shah. I'm pleased we finally have an opportunity to work together. I've heard such delicious things about you. I serve Darth Varon, head of Imperial Logistics and Civil Order. He asked that I aid in supervising this operation due to my experience with the galaxy's criminal element. This intriguing specimen is a member of the Brothers, our key allies on the station. They've provided the Empire with quality slave labor for many years. It is our great honor to take those without value and give them value, to give labor to those without purpose. Slavery is disgusting. I'm not interested in supporting it. The slaves support us, dear. That's the whole point. If you want nothing to do with their business, that's your prerogative. We are merely using the Brothers' territory as a headquarters. Our goal here is more complex than it might seem. Let's step into the operations center to discuss the details. Wait, there's some... <gasps> what? this was that I have no idea but I appreciate the help anytime it's good to see you again Lord Shah still in one piece oh oh yes the force was strong with him pity he didn't stand a chance for a Sith to defy the Empress and attack you during a top priority mission, you must have done something truly stirring. This didn't feel like an assassination attempt. Something else is going on. Intriguing. But a mystery for later, I think. We'd best return to the mission at hand. Shall we? Greetings. I am Darth Varon of the Dark Council. It is a pleasure to have you join us for this mission. I overheard something of a commotion. Is everything all right? Someone attempted to kill our dear guest. An assassination attempt? Dreadful. I do apologize. I'm not convinced that it was an assassin. It felt more like I was being tested. Really? I shall task some of our people with tracking the assailant down. I would love to learn more. Now then, Char, let's go over what we've planned. A Republic fleet key to the defense of Corellia has taken position nearby and intends to purchase fuel from Mekshar in order to continue their journey. It is our task to ensure that this fleet never reaches its destination. So we stop them from refueling? Unfortunately, that wouldn't fulfill our Empress's command. If the fleet cannot acquire fuel, they'll simply consolidate what fuel they have into their most powerful warships and send them on. We do not have sufficient vessels to prevent this, and we must make every effort to stop the entire fleet. Then we lure them in, and attack while they transfer the fuel. Just so, my friend. Major Anri, explain your discovery. It just so happens that a perfect weapon is built into this rock. 
All we have to do is take control of it. See, this place used to belong to the Huts, till their slaves revolted and kicked them out. Now Mekshar's neutral, run by the five biggest crews on the station. Hutbreaker? She led the revolt. Well, she wanted to be sure nobody could show up and steal what she and the other slaves just won, so they put in a failsafe. It fires a pulse that neutralizes all the fuel in Mekshar's tanks, plus whatever's in the fuel lines, and any ships attached. We could even juice the pulse up a bit, make it strong enough to ignite the fuel everywhere but the tanks, fry every ship in the fleet. Perfect. How do we get started? The decision of whether to sell fuel to the Republic fleet hasn't been made yet. It depends on a majority vote by the top five crews. It falls to you to persuade them to vote in favor of selling the fuel. To help the Republic walk into our trap. Fortunately, you have the perfect opportunity to get started. Brother? Huffbreaker hosts a celebration, an auction of pointless material wealth gained without effort. The five strongest crews are invited. You join our dear friends at Huffbreaker's auction. Ensure that the crews vote in favor of selling the fuel and help the Republic slip its head into the noose. And what will the rest of you be doing? Major Anri will be acquiring some special items we'll need later. Meanwhile, I will make a show of myself around the rest of Mekshar. We shall lead our enemies to suspect we're planning a direct assault, so they do not look too closely for other dangers. I will remain in contact, should any other urgent matters arise. And what's your back? At least one of these crews is already in the Republic's corner, or the fleet wouldn't have come here in the first place. Best of luck. Ready for departure. See meeting you here, boss. Lana mentioned you were coming here, so we figured we'd come and lend a hand. We've cut a few deals with these people over the years. With our help, you'll know just how to play them. They'll vote however you want. I'll be glad to have any information you can give me. Just doing our part. If you're ready, let's head inside. All right, first up, Hutbreaker, revolutionary leader, liberator, and unofficial queen of Mech Shah. Her crew runs the main docks. She won't need much convincing. Selling that fuel will bring in a small fortune, but that only stands if you keep the peace. You get too messy with any of these gangs, Hutbreaker will lock things down no matter how much she stands to make. Keeping Mech Shah safe is her top priority. All right. Darth Shah said that one of the crew leaders is a Republic sympathizer. What can you tell me? Junker Jot, retired Republic Navy. 
His people handle maintenance for all of Mech Shop. They're the reason we've got air to breathe and a nice view that doesn't kill us. Jot doesn't really have a crew, just droids and other engineers like him. But without them, this place literally doesn't work. So they get a seat at the table. Needless to say, the Republic will get his vote to refuel, so no need to get involved there. Better to focus on the other crew leaders. Why bother with the others? Heartbreaker and Jot will vote in the Republic's favor. We tell the brothers to do the same, and we have a majority. The brothers' relationship with the Empire is no secret. If they suddenly vote to sell fuel to the Republic, it will seem way too suspicious. Yeah, it's more of a hassle, but you'll need a vote from one of the other crew leaders to keep the Republic from looking too closely. First is Veet the Snake. He runs a Rodian smuggling ring, the Harido Wald. One of the biggest operations in the galaxy. Beak's a businessman. He can be anybody's friend if there's an upshot for him. Just have to figure out what he needs and make sure he gets it. The other crew leader is Indigo, Mandalorian. Well, ex-Mandalorian. Same with his crew. They're called something like Dar... Dharma... Darm... Darmanda. They're mercs and gunrunners. Indigo has some kind of rivalry with Veek, so it's a good thing you only need one of them to vote your way. Veek or Indigo. Simple enough. Thank you for your help. What are friends for? Looks like Hutbreaker's about to give her big welcome speech. Let's find a good spot. Meksha! How are you doing tonight? <laughs> Look at us! We are surviving! We are thriving! We are turning this tiny rock into the beating heart of the galaxy! Just a few years ago, we were slaves. Now, we're masters. Imagine what we can become in just a few more years! All we've got to do is stay us. Be what we've been so far. We keep the peace. We keep the balance. And we keep moving forward! We've got the whole galaxy laid out in front of us. Everyone else just doesn't see it yet! All they see are the soldiers, politicians, Sith, Jedi! All the people who think they run things, who think their wars decide who's in charge. The truth is, They'll never be in charge. They'll never really run things. You know why? Because while they're busy killing each other, we're making deals, making friends, expanding everything they buy so they can blow each other up. We're selling and getting richer, stronger. By the time they stop and do the math, it will be too late. Because there will be a lot more of us than there are of them. And then, it will be us calling the shots. So stay the course, my friends. It only gets better from here. <laughs> Welcome to Meksha. Did you enjoy the speech? I can see how you were able to inspire the rebellion against the Huts. Well, the Huts did most of the work for me, if I'm honest. Someone just had to fire the first shot. Now then, please, enjoy our hospitality. Have a drink on me and keep the peace. You can keep the peace, yes? I have your Sith friend's word on it. The Sith aren't known for keeping their word or keeping the peace. Such cynicism! Commander, Mitawidir, Jedi Knight. That's enough. The two of us have a prior appointment, I'm afraid. Please, enjoy the auction. I know you helped Malgus on Osis. You picked the wrong side. And you're going to regret it. The Republic is never going to win. You must see that. What I see is one more Imperial lapdog. Master Jedi. See you around.
Que faguta de obora geoto kakise. De mote que caça do bonilis de oto. Chai con kunta chichai. It depends on how well you treat your friends. Ma ki puna male tuta o nishka. Conchita chichakta. Su kusa mala chikuta i kosa mose ala tuta. I'm curious. What's your stance on fueling the Republic ships? Kasuyali koyaran kenka kurum. Klis kataka yos osko uko pokuta. Makipu na mali tuta o nishka. Niti saroda kopana chaporko utman gisa. It'd be better to discuss this in private. Bampaula kava ji oto. What do you have in mind? Chubula wa mi chade sula. Kafs tu undile ji o hola lukuta. Tungi machechu kuti nanki he. Wana wa de bloto we chawa. What do you want? Not much for small talk, are you? No, I'm not. And I gotta hurt you on either. We wouldn't be talking unless you wanted something. So what is it? To the point. Let me return the favor. I'm looking for some help. Interested? If you think Darmanda wanna fight and die in your little war, you're out of your mind. We're doing just fine on Miksha. Who are the Darmanda anyway? What's your story? Give me a break. I saw your friends feed you intel on everyone in here earlier. What a pointing and whispering. You know who we are. It might be worth your time to make a good impression on me. There are benefits to being my ally. <laughs> Seems to me there'd be just as many downsides. Maybe we can help each other though. Look, this isn't a good place to do business. Too many years. Maybe the canteen will let and we'll see. Keep on walking, I got nothing to say to imp lovers. Why so hostile? Can't we have a civil conversation? No, 
I didn't watch my buddies die in the cold of space just to make chit-chat with their killers. Or the killer's friends, whichever you are. Huh. I need another drink. There you are. Have you learned everything you need to complete our plan? Yes. I'm done here. Splendid. I hope your time was... illuminating. How'd I do? Too scruffy? Just scruffy enough? Scruffy isn't the word I'd choose. Hmm. I couldn't agree more. Gonna do a hit and run on Jot's turf a bit later. Need to keep the old crank from realising who's behind it. Just need a few more sets of gear for the rest of my boys and we'll be off. I've rather loudly let the actual Nova Blades, as well as the Exchange, hear that I'm hiring extra muscle. Word should spread quickly. I'm on my way to meet with one of the crews we need to vote for the refueling. Wonderful. My master knew you were the one for the job. Well then, we all have our tasks before us. Shall we reconvene in the Brothers' territory later? Ready for departure. Enjoy your stay. Ready for departure. Enjoy your stay. Ready for departure.
Well, well, you showed up. <laughs> I prefer doing business here. Better drinks, no dress code. Industrial waste disposal on the back if there's trouble. Let's pick up where we left off at the party. Well, let's start here. What exactly do you want from me? I want you to vote in favor of selling fuel to the Republic. You want them to refuel? <laughs> I don't know what your game is, but I don't need to. You know how this works. You do a little something for me first, and I'll consider it. What did you have in mind? You know that slimy little Rodian Vink? Runs a smuggling crew? He's been raising prices on me, and I'm sick of it. Profits are thin enough without that bug-eyed scammer button in. I want him and his bodyguards dead. No witnesses, no chance the Darmander catches the blame. I know the guy who's next in line. Done business together. He'll hire some of my guys as bodyguards, and I'll be in a nice spot. So, there it is. Take out Veek, and the vote's yours. You can count on me. Veek is as good as dead. Take this communicator and get somewhere out of the way. Buzz Veek with it, and he'll think Hutbreaker's calling for him. Use it to call me when the job's done. Once I see it with my own eyes, we'll be golden. You're better now.
ti saroda ko pana cha porko utman gisa? Wonki ki ato cha kampat noka chi sabicha. Should feel better now. Job's done. Good. The boat's yours. Good luck with your war. It's been a pleasure doing business with you. Likewise. Commander, am I interrupting anything? I just finished convincing Indigo to support our plan. What do you need? Perfect. Remember when I mentioned that hit and run on Jot's territory earlier? Well, I've got my squad ready to move. Last thing we need is you. What do you mean? Jot's crew handles maintenance for everything in the station, including the failsafe system that roasts the fuel. He'll have a schematic for the failsafe on his computers. We need that data so we can modify the system to juice it up like the boss wants. My team hits Jot's place first, so he thinks pirates are trying to run off with some of his repair droids. While he's out chasing us around, you sneak into his HQ and grab the data. Sound good? Send me the coordinates and I'll make my way there. You got it. Before we dive into this op, I have to tell you. I feel like Valron's playing games here. Treating those creep slavers like they actually matter. Hell, playing nice with any of the locals. Boss's eyes are on more than just the mission, I'm sure of it. You were a slave once. Just as I was. What's your view on the Empire using slaves as they do? Being a slave was horrible, but it motivated me to be the best, to make myself more. That's what the Empire's all about, isn't it? Still, if things had been different, I could have got a lot more years soldiering in. Probably a lot of good soldiers died working in a mine or something before they got their chance to really make a difference. Slavery is cruel and destructive. The Empire would be better off without it. Sometimes you have to be cruel to get things done the best they can be done. But I wouldn't mind seeing a bit more brains put to it. All right, I've burned enough of your time. I'll move my people into position and we'll be ready to start when you are. Amory out. Ready for departure. Enjoy your stay.
should feel better now. Having fun with my security upgrades? I did them up special just for you. Major Anry, I'm downloading the failsafe schematics now. Copy that. Can we finally have the old fool locked down? Go snag some droids and make our getaway before he gets loose again. Anry out. Ready for departure. Enjoy your stay. Thanks to your impressive efforts, the vote has gone as we intended. Mekshar will sell fuel to the Republic. Their ships are preparing to dock now. All without the slightest idea of our true plans. Well done. We can begin our attack as soon as their ships are locked in. I've gone over the failsafe schematics with my boys. We'll break into the maintenance shafts and hit the four main emitters all at once. Someone else will have to throw the big switch, though. Can't activate the failsafe from inside. Has to be done from the dock's control center. Leave that to me. We're of the same mind. Excellent. Before you begin, I will load the remainder of our troops into assault shuttles and make a diversionary strike on the docks themselves. That should serve to distract the bulk of their defenders. Still, do be careful as you approach the failsafe controls, darling. 
Don't worry. You won't need to distract them for long. Splendid. Oh, to see their ships gutted by the very fuel that they were so desperate to acquire. This will be a glorious day for the Empire. A day to be exceeded only by our forthcoming victory on Corellia. Now then, everyone to your tasks. Take no prisoners, and above all else, enjoy yourselves. Destination. Enjoy your stay. Entrances. Take a breath. That's it. Come and get me. You'll move, Commander. More enemies at the dark. Squads five and seven, defensive positions. You've got this.
I've been waiting for this, Imperial. Your plan ends here. I've been waiting for this, Imperial. Your plan ends here. The Force serves me. No! This isn't over. I've reached the failsafe controls. And this is the Vulvan modified. We're ready. Perfect. Activate the failsafe. Firing now. <laughs> Such glorious chaos. It was everything I'd imagined. Well done, everyone. All forces return to base. You made an all-out military assault on my docks! Meksha isn't Imperial territory. You don't get to ignore my rules! It is true that our forces attack their ships, as they do in all corners of the galaxy. But it was your council that voted to put them in that position. And it was your weapon that shredded their ships so spectacularly. No! They'll never think... That we have been working together since the beginning? That is exactly what they'll think. Why else would you be meeting us now? You have made an enemy of the Republic. Your neutrality will be meaningless. But you are not alone in these trying times. Your affiliation with the Empire will gradually strengthen over time. I believe you could become our key refueling station in this sector, if you learn to behave. You played them from the beginning. Very impressive. Oh, that's no way to speak about our partners. Uh, enthusiastic partners. You are enthusiastic, aren't you? Yes! Splendid. You may go now. Varon, Shah, report. The Republic fleet has been all but eradicated. They will not trouble you on Corellia. Then your mission is complete. Prepare to extract all forces. With no further Republic reinforcements to contend with, our victory on Corellia is all but guaranteed. I'm transmitting coordinates now. We will meet to discuss our strategy for the attack immediately. Malgus out. It has been a great pleasure working with you, Commander. I shall look forward to our next mission together. My lords, orders just came through. Looks like I'm backing you up on Corellia. Heard they have good whiskey. Might try and grab some. Don't bother. Kalsinor's blends are just as good, and much simpler to find in Imperial space. Maybe so. But you know what they say about a looted bottle. The truest taste of victory. Oh, I like this one. I've enjoyed working with her so far. Major Anri, this is Lana Benico. Charmed. I have our ship prepped and ready, shall we? All creation requires labor.